been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have my Clawfist tour and this was very requested and I was just, I don't know why I didn't want to film it just because I always feel like it's a little bit of a mess but I decided that it's time to do this, uh, show you guys a little bit more where I spend pretty much 12 hours of my day every single day since we moved here this has been like my woman cave if that's like the term that we want to use so I just wanted to share a little bit with you so yeah, let's just get right into the video If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lou. I am 24 years old, not 16. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. We do a lot of videos here about handbag, shoes, traveling. So yeah, if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Basically, when we moved into this house, we decided we wanted an office area and I also wanted it to be like my handbag display and filming room. And I have some clothing here, but not much to be honest because I do have my closet on the master bedroom but yeah we decided that basically this was gonna be my bedroom with my stuff and I have a very fun story about this couch actually uh, but here's the only place where I actually have clothing and on this area like this is a closet and I know that this is gonna be funny I'm gonna explain that right now but basically here here I actually store my filming gear and you're gonna see I'm not really proud of that but uh, there you can see my light rings and everything just stopped inside and I'm not part of that but it actually really works for me because I don't like to see them constantly and there I have okay that I knew that I was going to be useless whenever we put this here and also this so uh, as I told before this is not a closet that I actually use and don't laugh but what you're going to see here are actually just boxes and shopping bags from Chanel uh, Louis Vuitton in Dior. I just made peace with the fact that I was not gonna use this closet and that's okay because I have the walk-in closet but here is like the main thing of the room. So yeah I don't have a link but I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what this basically is. So I use this for displaying my handbags and I have a few drawers that I'm gonna show you what I have inside and the first one this is like the most important one and here I have all my dust bags for each and every single bag and SLG that I own here I have all my receipts and also authenticity cards as you can see. I'm gonna sit down and show you this a little bit uh, more into depth. And this is basically for my receipts, authenticity cards, everything that I need for each and every single bag. So I thought that this was gonna be a, like a great tip for anyone that has like a handbag collection or pretty much a collection about anything. So I got this on Amazon. I didn't really like that it was black and multicolor, but it works. So I got specific labels for each and every single bag, shoe, etc. Like this one on the back is actually for all my SLGs. So it's a little bit more messy, but it's pretty much everything here. And I labeled every single one of them. Uh, this is for my large Tiffany blue wallet. Extra studs for my Valentino Rockstar sneakers. This is the authenticity card of my Tiffany blue O case. And it goes that way. So it's a little bit easier. I don't really like having my authenticity cards inside of my bags just because I feel like I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose it someday and also I don't really like having it there just like that so I have them on each of every single one of them and it's nice to have the receipts and everything that they come up with uh, this was one of the tips that I wanted to give to you and this is usually on this drawer alongside with the dust bags and the dust bags are in order for each and every single bag all of them have a dust bag I have a couple of extras I don't really know why but yeah basically here are all my dust bags here's Louis Vuitton Gucci, uh, Chanel. So let's close this one. The next one is gonna be my SLG drawer. And here you see you, I have a couple of boxes. I have my SLGs there. Some of them that I use more regularly. I don't really have them inside their dust bags. But I do have also straps and change uh, funny stuff that I sometimes have for my bags. And this came with my Hermes bag. So I find this to be very, very cute and funny. Uh, so, okay. Next drawer is gonna be uh, my organizer drawer because I have a few extras. 
for some bags so i have them all here shout out to samorga thank you i love my organizers and when we go to this side i'm gonna push a little bit this thing okay so we're gonna open it a little bit but basically here we have the osmo um the gopro this is for my camera it's basically cables and things to film even in case i need them like just quick access and i also have here um i think i have nothing here uh that's a router and this is for the light rings and here i just have boxes of things like my ipad um my macbook etc so i don't really reach for those drawers but i find them very handy to have just to hide things inside um this is pretty much my sweater i really love it it's very easy for me to just grab one from there if, in case I'm cold. And this couch was actually such a fun story that I'm gonna tell you guys. Now, when it came to this one, this was actually something that was not meant to be on this room. And this couch, um, I don't think that I'm gonna have a link for it because I got with points on a Mexican store uh, that is called Palacio de Hierro. So I decided that I wanted a couch for the living room, actually. And I had points at that time, like this was last year. So I decided to buy something with those points and I saw this and on the website it didn't really say dimensions i just saw it and it looked like a little bit small so i wanted to have it on the living room and when they delivered it i was like where am i gonna put that it didn't fit inside our master bedroom because we have a king size bed it didn't fit on the living room because we already have like a regular couch this was gonna be like just on the side of the couch just to you know an extra one doesn't really fit on the guest bedroom because that's tiny so it ended up being here and at first i was not really happy with it because I felt like it was interrupting the space but at the end of the day it turned out to be my filming couch and I also always sometimes I just shut down the curtains and I put a movie on my Samsung monitor and my Mac I put Netflix there and I have my little side desk and I put my coffee there and I just watch movies here because it's very very comfortable and it's like a nice ways to have our own spaces because this is where I'm at basically most of the day and Polo is downstairs helps a lot because we're in quarantine 24 7 together we go to the same college so yeah we're basically together all the time even now more than ever because it's online college and home office so i felt like it was very important to have this space for background i still i am in college so i do online college and i also have a job and i also have youtube so this is like the place where i film videos uh do online classes i also do home office some days i do go to the office Office, but I usually just stay here in the house now when it comes to this desk we decided to get it because we uh, just moved into this house when COVID started and we decided that we wanted to have something where we wanted to work and so this is Polo's side he basically has nothing because <laughs> here's the line this is mine this is him and he's a very simple person like this is even my computer uh, but he owns a pair of glasses oh, this is mine another pair of glasses and phone case that's it now on the next row we have um, nothing um, papers and some boxes and um, cables now it really gets a bit more interesting when we go to my side um, this is my agenda I usually put this here um this is not supposed to go here okay uh so here i have my my agenda this is the gm agenda from louis vuitton and it's size a5 so here pretty much i have all my refills for the agenda like papers uh anything i might need uh my kindle and uh here's my water bowl that i always have filled here so some markers, uh, this candle that needs to be thrown, uh, it's a vanilla cupcake, this is very disgusting, but it's a bit burnt, it's a Yankee candle from vanilla cupcake, I really like it, I need to get a new one. And I really like to use these ones that come with the bags just like for decorative purposes, and here I have my magic mouse too. So I get a lot of questions about my computer setup, and this is not an iMac. This is uh, actually a Mac Mini, and a Mac Mini is basically this thing. They sell you this thing at the Apple Store just as is, and you are gonna connect it, you can see right there in the back, to a monitor. And this is a monitor that's from Samsung, and it's quite big, as you can see, like, this is huge. I love it for editing, and I have 
like it's just the monitor for the PC that this is the PC and I have um, my Mac mouse and my magic mouse also for Mac so it's basically a Mac, an iMac, but a cheap one. I'm gonna try to explain to you why I decided to get this when I'm sitting down, but for now you just have to know that it's a Mac. And the monitor was actually like $250, so that was uh, very, very nice. Okay, so the first thing that we decided when we were making this room is that there was gonna be a handbag shelf. Like, it was the first thing that I wanted, that and a desk. So when we got the handbag shelf, I just wanted it to be big, like pretty much getting all of the wall and that it would fit all of my bags with spare space because I don't really like them touching each other just because I know that that is a little bit bad for color transfer and I just don't really feel comfortable like having them all like squished together and I had the space but when we got into that we realized that one of the closets was gonna be useless so I didn't really care about that because I have my clothing in the master bedroom we actually have a walk-in closet so we decided that this was gonna be a more like um I don't know a cloth is not really a closet and cloth is is something that I saw from Alisa Lenore and I highly inspired from her because I I really like Alisa so I decided that I was gonna only have a couple of sweaters a couple of clothes Thing, maybe shoes and my bags and besides of that it was gonna be like mainly work related so yeah I know that it's not the most useful space in that terms because I am actually blocking part of the actual closet but I don't really mind because there I actually only have boxes and shopping bags and that type of stuff now when it comes to this it has six drawers then when we decided that we were gonna put the desk Polo said that he wanted his own space in this room so we decided to do a double desk and and I don't know if it's been 100% worth it because he does use that but only for online classes. He usually works on a separate room because we get distracted one with another. So he works on the living room and he prefers that. I don't know why. And I just, I really need to be here sitting down and doing my stuff. Those of you who are familiar with my boyfriend, he doesn't have a bunch of stuff. So you're gonna see clearly on his side of the desk that he has nothing. Like the computer that right now is there is actually mine because he helps me a little bit with my editing but he has pretty much nothing like on the drawers he has like two three things he just it's not that way and on the other side I'm just the complete opposite I need plants I need papers I need agendas I need markers something that I really wanted to talk about was my computer setup because I get a lot of questions regarding that and no it's actually not an iMac I get asked why I have a white iMac and it's not an iMac there was a period of time where my laptop broke down so I went running into to the Apple store and I said that, that I want to have a desktop computer and I wanted to have a laptop so you know you have one or another in case of an emergency because I do rely on my computer so much like I really need it every single day all the time like I like everything is in there like school work uh, YouTube Instagram like everything is there so I needed it so I went to see the IMAX and they were so expensive so I decided to go on a little bit more of a unconventional road and that was buying a Mac mini and a Mac mini is basically everything that you need from a Mac you just need to insert a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse so it's basically just a Mac you just need a monitor and I found the white one from Samsung on Amazon that I'm gonna try to link on the description box down below I'm gonna try to link as much as I can uh, down there so I decided to do that and it was actually way way cheaper than getting a Mac so it works amazing and the screen is huge I love the fact that the screen is that big because for editing videos that's it's very nice to have all that space so you don't really have to be on the computer like this on the laptop but even though my laptop is a 16 inch MacBook Pro like that's a beast it's the only computer that really could stand all the editing that I was doing so yeah that's basically my computer setup not an iMac I just wanted to clarify that and I highly recommend having that for your office or for your home what anything that you want I like it a little bit more than an iMac if you don't really want to spend the buck if things get better and better when we move I want to have an actual like beast of an iMac there with a lot of more space and you know the usual this um, I got from H&M home I really like it and this is the new box that I just left here uh, for my ring that I exchanged it's this one and here I have some jewelry inside and tweezers so there's a couple of things that I need to show you on the drawer so on the first one, I have my iPad sometimes, and I also put my MacBook because I have two computers. I have the desk computer and I have my laptop. Now here, here we have some things, uh, random things, like this is the box for my love bracelet, this is the box for my love ring, 
uh, two pairs of sunglasses, my Instax, this was a gift from Polo. I have another pair of sunglasses, an album, more refills from my agenda. And the next one is, I think this is empty, yeah, it's empty. And here I have random stuff. So this is a hard drive, face masks, uh, the other type of face mask, baby wipes, um, the box for my Nintendo Switch. So yeah, random stuff. And now in the middle we have, um, this is, is like the main drawer, this is a mask. Here we have another face mask, um, sunglasses, reading glasses, AirPods, hair ties, a compact from Chanel. So this is very realistic. I didn't clean this up before I uh, decided to film. I wanted to be very realistic on what my office really looks like. It's not extra tidy or anything. I have a lot of pens in here and Carmex and things just not very, very organized. Now on this one, I have uh, this for my candle. I'm lactose intolerant, so I always have an extra um, <laughs> lactose pills. I don't know how you say that. Here's my hard drive, uh, some stuff, um, yeah. Here is empty, and here is, well, not empty. I don't remember what this was for, but I don't really want to throw it away, so I'm gonna keep it. Now, one of the couple of things that I don't like about this room, I'm gonna show you right now. And um, basically, uh, here, I tried to stick this with T-Rex just to like get it out of the way because I I cannot stand this like I try to put it like here I don't know just out of the way but it always goes back uh, there's a lot of cables coming from the computer and this other space that here is where I have uh, my light for when I'm on the extra hours but basically there are more cables a trash bin and this is like for when i'm sitting on the couch and i just want to be very comfortable but have something to write on and a long champ those drawers are basically empty i swear there's nothing there and here uh just extra space uh that's my criteria box now when it comes to the mirror this is actually huge i decided that i wanted a huge mirror since this year we're not going to be out a lot and I wanted to take a lot of pictures uh, so I decided that this was the best idea I don't know why but it's huge I don't know what we're gonna do when we move uh, but yeah that's it and if you want to say a little bit like more on the details um, it's more like gold paint not actually gold and uh, behind this I have uh, more cables charging I also wanted to add to this room was the big mirror just because it's good for selfies that's uh, everything that I have to say about it I just wanted it for selfies now this little table that I have here I usually have it when I'm sitting down here and I put here my coffee and anything that I will be using I lay down here and I put uh, Netflix on this computer because I really enjoy doing that so yeah, this is like my space and if I want to put my feet over something, that's what that one is for. And also so I can be able to reach those bags on the top because I cannot... Well, I can. This is me here, just trying to reach them, but I really can't reach them, honestly. Uh, just a little bit. Okay, so I just do this <laughs> and now I just can reach for anything that I want, if it's my boots, it's my light blue bag and yeah so I'm gonna receive a couple of questions on this and I just I switch them every two once in a while like I used to have the Louis Vuitton ones on the top now I have them on the bottom I just really prefer that right now and I I don't know I have like neutrals Louis Vuitton uh, black bags um, a couple of my most used bags uh, here I have totes uh, but yeah this is pretty much it now, touching a little bit on the topic of moving, um, actually, I'm only here, like, we're renting, this is not our house, but they let us do pretty much anything that we want to the house, like, our landlord, he's, they're very, very nice, so we love them, uh, but we're gonna stay here until we finish college, like, when we're done with it, we're gonna actually move back to Spain, and I'm really excited about that, I'm already, like, planning everything, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm just like this, every time that I know that I have actually something coming up, I tend to just, uh, quit what I was doing 
living before like at some point we were very very excited about renovating this house like not renovating just decorating you know and then we just were like yeah we're gonna move anyway so let's just leave it like this and if you're gonna ask me what I'm gonna do with all the furniture I have no idea don't ask me I stress about it every time that I think of it uh, because I don't know what we're gonna do but definitely this was pretty much an investment for ourselves that we did need a space where we could actually work and it would feel a little bit more formal I'm not the type of person that can really work from my bed so it was actually not that expensive uh, they're not real wood that's like another thing that I wanted to touch on I don't know what it is but it's not real wood and we specifically asked that because we knew that we were not gonna keep up this for a really long time but for the time being they have served me so so good and I really love them and they have really made up like a better year for me because I have my space and I really like it and yeah you see this couch every single of my videos even if it was a mistake I kind of really enjoy it so yeah this was my video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions regarding the clothes let me know in the comment section down below and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching my channel I'm gonna leave you another one right here so please consider going to watch that and yeah thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one bye